please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Good day, learner. I am Teacher Kyla. So, how are you today? Are you guys ready to learn something? If that's the case, let's start. Let us start by recalling the place value of decimal and mixed decimal. When we say place value, it is defined as the value represented by a digit in a number on the basis of its position. For example, 345, which give us by a group of ones, tens, and hundreds. How about the place value of decimal or mixed decimal? For example, 1.34. We read this as 1 and 34 hundreds. The place value on the right starts with tens because after the ones, the digits on the right are ten times smaller. Therefore, one is in ones place, three is in tenth place, and four is in hundreds place. Also, don't forget that the decimal point separates whole number part and decimal. So, okay children, let us move in adding and subtracting decimals for mixed decimals in adding and subtracting decimals and mixed decimals. So, we have some steps to follow. So, let's sing to remember us the following steps. So, are you guys ready to sing? So, let's start. Line up the decimals when you are adding or subtracting. Line up the decimals when you are adding or subtracting. You will discover one is need the other. The answer you get should be correct. So line up the decimals when you add or subtract. Add extra zeros when you are needing equal places. Add extra zeros when you are needing equal places. The answer you get should be correct. So add extra zeros when you will add or subtract. Very good! So to review from what we sang, I have a problem set to you. So let's give it a try. So we have here the example number one. Add 0 0.358 hundreds and 2.6315 ten thousand. So step one, arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Step two, insert zeros in empty decimal place values if needed so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. So step three, add as with whole numbers. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to the all the added. Again, step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Step 2. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values if needed so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Subtract as with whole numbers place the decimal between the digits vertically aligned to the all given numbers. Now, I will tell you a story and let us find what is their problem. So, here's the story. Hoshi broke the base of your mother received from her friend. You and Hoshi checked the price of the base and it cost 1,299.95 centavos. And the both of you open your own coin bank and collect 179.10 centavos from you and 85.15 centavos for Hoshi. So, we're going to add the collected money and subtract from the price of the base and know how much the siblings lack of money. And now, let's find the given first. 
So first, Hoshi's money is 85.15 centavos and your money is 179.10 centavos. And the cost of the base is 1,299.95 centavos. So first, we're going to add the collected money and then we're going to subtract it from the cost of the base to know how much lack of money they are. For you to practice more, I will divide the class into four groups and two groups will be given the same set of problems. I let you align, add, and or subtract the problem set given. Now you have your groups. You may start now answering. So very good! Thank you for cooperating with your group mates. So after we practice answering some problem set, I have a questions for you guys. So first, how do we visualize addition and subtraction the decimals and mixed decimals? Very good! So next, what is are the steps to compute the numbers with decimals and how will you compute it? Very good! So the last question is, what do you think is the difference if you compute the numbers without the proper alignment of the decimals? You guys are so good! So let me give you this. G double O D J O B. Good job! Good job! So now you kind of master aligning the decimals. Let's have an activity. Thank you guys for cooperating and answering the activity. So let's move on. Now that the class will be ended soon, I will leave you an assignment. You guys can do it, don't worry. So here it is. Let's say you are woozy who bought a three packets of sweets. You have 60 pesos and the sweets cost 17.26 centavos each. And each packet had a mass of 0 0.103 kg. What was the total mass of the three packets of sweets? How much is the total of three packets of sweets and how much money left on Lucy? So, before we officially say goodbye to each other, let's sing another song that will remind you the steps. So, are you guys ready? So, let's start. Line them up. 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 We do it when we're adding and then we we're subtracting. When adding and subtracting with pesky decimals. You guys are so great! Yay! So did you guys earn knowledge today on how will you compute numbers with decimals? So always remember that Paul once said, To learn mathematics is to do mathematics. So once again, I am Teacher Kaila. Goodbye!